After an amazing season and a record-breaking postseason, the Golden State Warriors are the NBA champions for the second time in three years. I can't even describe it. It's amazing. I just, we're champs. Thank you. Two victories in three years. What's the feeling? What did it take? Hard work. The feeling is amazing. I want it every year. And most importantly, I did this for the team and did this for the city. Unbelievable. Champs. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Andre, congratulations. What did you learn last year that you used this year and was a determinant factor in this hey, victory? What did, what did I learn last year? Oh, so last year black, don't, don't, black don't crack. Exactly. <laughs> it's the strength, fast twitch, all that. It don't crack. It's powerful. What's the, what's the feeling of winning on your home court? All our fans have been amazing, honestly. Our fans have been amazing. They stepped up this year in the finals and they were riding with us. It was great. They, the fans deserved it to happen in front of them. And you deserve it too. Congratulations. This is a champ, but this is a two, right here. Two time, two time right two time. here. He's a finals MVP, but at two the time. time, it's like a big brother, man. He taught me a lot over the past two years. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> It might have looked easy. That thing was hard work. I see everybody in the gym. Everybody. Hard work. That's what it was. It was hard work, man. Ain't nobody missed a day in the gym, man. Nobody. Talk to my vet real quick, man. Vet, it feels great to win. It feels great to win. What about global win. economics? Tell me about Win. <laughs> win, win, win. Do what you do. Just win. What did it take for this victory? What's the magic of this team? Uh, starts everything with talent. Starts everything with uh, the teamwork and uh, the sacrifice we all did for this team and the hard work we put and the, all the sweat. And most importantly, we put the most importantly we put the, all the egos away. And all we did is just contribute for the team. You know, to win, put ourselves to win the championship. And you know, it wasn't easy. But at um, the end of the day, we won the, we won the world championship. That's an amazing feeling. Can you describe what you're feeling right now? Uh, it's amazing. It's a dream come true to be able to come back to where I basically got my start at, to where I'm from, 45 minutes from here, and to win it with this group of guys is very special. Who do you dedicate this victory to? Man, the, the, the We Believe team, you know, the guys that helped me get on the map, and my mom. You know, this is the last place my mom saw me play. It's where my kids were born where I'm from, so I just dedicate this to that team, my family, and the city. Just there's no egos here. You know, we got a lot of superstars and all-stars, but we all have one common goal. Everybody sacrifices, leaves the bullshit at the front door, and comes out here to play hard, and we got a championship now. Victory is in three years. How does it feel? Incredible. Incre <laughs> there's no words for it. Incredible. God is good. We're blessed. We're blessed. God is good. It's a great feeling um, to do it twice. Two out of three t years, um, the guys played so hard. They played great. They played together. Um, it's an unbelievable feeling. I, I know they're having a great time. As a parent, an ex-player, it's a wonderful feeling. Any tips you gave Steph before the game? No, just go out, relax, clear his mind. Don't worry about, you know, um, game four. They, they did what they had to do, come home and win it for, in front of his fans, and he did just that. Are you going to celebrate today? Celebration's already started. I can't tell you when it's going to end, though. <laughs> Is this a sweet revenge? Uh, I wouldn't call it revenge. Just, uh, just make, making the most of the opportunity that was in front of us. Uh, we felt like we were right there last year. and uh, You learn through you know, your, your, your down times or disappointing times. You know, I, I feel like that's a, that's a part of the growth. And I feel like we've grown from that. Uh, as you can see, the way we took care of the ball in the fourth quarter and we didn't panic when they made their runs. Um, I think that was growth. You know, Steph only threw one left hand pass tonight. <laughs> that was growth. And I told him that, um, you know, he's amazing. Uh, 
you know, this history, you know, we're going down as one of the best teams ever. Uh, and that's a special thing you cannot take away from us. Valeria Rubino, Viaggio Sport, Corriere della Sera. Steph, congratulations. Who was the person who inspired you the most during your career? And who do you dedicate this victory to? Um, personally, I mean, there's so many people that inspire me from a basketball standpoint in my, my career, from the time I was played basketball since I was like five. Uh, I always talk about my two favorite players being Steve Nash and Reggie Miller, the guys that I wanted to model my game after. Um, <clears throat> I've had amazing coaches along the way, from college, Bob McCaleb, to the NBA, um, you know, Mark Jackson, obviously Steve Kerr, Don Nelson, guys that have instilled confidence in me um, and allowed me to be who I am as a basketball player. Uh, but to be able to have my whole family here um, that allow me to do what I do on a daily basis, support me through thick and thin, to be able to share this with them, um, that's something that, that I cherish the most. So uh, we're just getting started on that front and enjoy this, this, this entire experience, um, you know, being able to get the job done. Take it a day by day um, with a new team and new, new, uh, new set up and do whatever it takes to win a championship. Man. Sounds good, but literally that's our that was our perspective coming to training camp.